Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, I guess we're live. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Um, yeah. So I'm um, somewhere in the middle of Siberia or on the brink of uh, Alaska and uh, America. And they used to call it this the, the um, ice curtain uh, instead of the iron curtain. So I'm just going to take a look at some of the stuff here. I guess it's not going to be uh, really, you know, the um, the actual resolution out here where we're essentially where no one really flies. And um, yeah, so well, let's jump into the plane and take a look from here. Ooh, let me see here. I'm going to try and make, yeah, actually repaint one of these planes. I'm going to see if I can just export the model and pick it in tomorrow or something and then slap on some paint. Um, but yeah, we have a Piper Cub, so let's um, see here what's going on. Let's jump into the plane. Uh, so yeah, I want to take a look here. We, If I look at the map, essentially the um, ice curtain. We have two islands here, uh, a big and small diomede. And this one, uh, the, the big Diomede was evicted by inhabitants back in the day, like I'm not sure when it was, 50s, 40s, something 50s. And this one, the, the small Diomede, is actually inhabited by Americans still here. And you see this line, that's essentially the border between Russia and America. So they have uh, two land masses and I think this the big diameter is actually used by Russian troops as to you know fire at people coming close or something I don't know so let's see here what's what we can see when we fly I'm just gonna reset my view here and and uh, let's uh, hopefully I don't die immediately essentially flying up here and it's a bit touch and go here I'm just gonna head over let's look over here let's get up in the air first Ooh. too much speed pick up the flaps okay so let's see here what what we have uh, the map is super uh, you know I don't think this part of the world is that scanned because there's almost no one living but there's actually a few houses here on the on the end here of the world so let's see here what we can see so I guess when if you want to defect here in back in the in the day, getting somehow to get over to that small diameter that will make you get into America, I guess. So let's take a look here. Just gonna look out through the window. And that's the village. I'm not sure who lives there. Maybe it's army personnel or something. So I want to fly to this, uh, the big diameter first and then get over to American airspace and try and um, defect, so to speak. Uh, let's actually go to uh, reset the weather a bit here so it's a bit more interesting. Oops. Let's go to live weather, set the time, maybe morning, early morning, and set live weather. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's, it's 
cloudy there now. I need to be a bit careful here now when I fly. I'm gonna stay quite low because I don't want to be picked up by radar, so I will probably already in, in radar range. I'm just gonna take a bit more sound, like sa so maybe. So yeah, th there was some uh, indigenous people living here on, on the ed edge of the world here. And actually, it's the fun thing about this small and big Diomede is apparently they are very close to each other, but they are 20 or so hours apart in time difference because I think they split the time there. So it's like a new day, essentially, it's there. So yeah, there are like when it's... 20 hours ahead but yeah you can see here obviously the efforts in uh, flight simulator is not here in Alaska at the moment and um, but it's cool that uh, there is at least this some kind of huts and stuff picked up by the by the radar or the, the GPS So the, we should see uh, these islands here in the horizon. Uh, yeah, I think we actually see it there. I'm just gonna go up here a bit. Let me see an external view here. So the ice curtain, I guess, someone swim, uh, was swimming from small to big Diomede and was greeted by, I think, Gorbachev and Ronald Reagan at the time, like a, a swimmer. I guess it was a peace, peace offering kind of scenario. So I think that there is actually a population that lived actually around here that was moved in the 50s or something. And I think there's actually one or two houses that shows up here when I fly here, if I'm not mistaken me. Let's go uh, outside. I think when we come around here, I'm just gonna follow the coast down, then I'm gonna head over to the big diamond and then I'm gonna land on Alaskan soil. So we're in American. And when we cross that line, what we see here on the map, essentially that's the line of uh, the American territory or the American airspace. So if we get there, like in our Piper Cub, I guess if you would fly this during the Cold War or the Ice Curtain way, you would probably fly, you know, fly really low so you don't get picked up by radar. Yeah, we'll be see. It would be cool if they updated the terrain because uh, looking at the uh, the satellite images, the terrain here is really cool on all of this aero eroded. But I think there is a should be a house somewhere here. I'm just gonna lean out here. Yeah, so in the horizon there, we 
can see if you move buildings and actually if I, when I looked at the, the map we can actually see those so it picks up some of the old abandoned houses there and that's kind of interesting there should be uh, I think some kind of almost a monument by one of those houses the stretching is quite severe there it doesn't have that much texture resolution and or height data in uh, over here so let's take the and there we have them the houses let me pause here pause just gonna go quickly I'm gonna take my uh, camera here and say showcase camera and uh, reset position and then we wanna take the drone speed and just take it up to max here and I'm just gonna fly over here oh there we go so that's supposed to be those old abandoned houses. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. There we go. Oh, they look nice for being abandoned. But anyway, let's go back and uh, fly. Okay, so let's unpause this. And now head over to Big Diomede, where there used to live people. but they were moved and now they are replaced I think by some Russian military personnel or something but yeah who knows Time to take a coffin out. So the airspace between those two islands, I mean, it's just, it's funny that they, Russia and America has their own small islands that can look at each other. And uh, yeah, can wave at each other probably even. So I guess in the winter they can land on the on the water when um, for this small island you can land on the water but uh, now during summer I guess they have to airlift people out in and out. I believe they have a school. I saw some documentaries about this island and there is a school even on the island, a very small one, a few people pupils so if if one of those people see this <laughs> uh, you're awesome living out here I would never survive <laughs> uh, yeah I'm not sure why I get these altimeter settings all the time I need to learn this game a bit more it's gonna take down the volume there a bit Let's see if I can speed up without breaking. Yes, no. I'm pushing this poor Piper up to its limits.
So yeah, it will be interesting to play this game on uh, the ultra settings. I believe I don't have that. Let me see. Yeah, high end. Uh, I have an old graphics card, so I essentially have to tune down a bit just to be able to fly this game. So I'm gonna upgrade my uh, computer with a new graphics card, but the new NVIDIA card is kind of sold out everywhere, so I guess I have to just tune down stuff here at the moment. Let's take the, the drone out and take it for a spin. I'm just gonna climb up here on top. Where is my plane? Somewhere. I'm gonna just go up here. It's cool to see from this perspective above the clouds and look at the islands this is where we want so the big one there the big island is uh, Russian and the small one is is owned and operated or it's it's American soil so so this is where we're heading. I just want to take it a bit of a turn around the big island, go to uh, the small one, the small diameter, and check out the school. Because there is a school there. It's cool. I, I wonder what you do, I guess, fishing and uh, stuff like that. But they're essentially living on, on the shoreline and there's a very little area where it's actually flat. Unless you go up on top, but I'm not sure why. I don't think they want to build anything on top there. Could have a small uh, landing strip for uh, me when I come and visit. It's going to take us down here. I think I've increased the uh, altitude a bit too much. down there let's increase the height even further and see how far we can go with it and go up into space maybe I'll end up in ISS uh, or something I'm gonna see it from uh, from above zoom in here so we can see the island so I guess the Russians they live down like down there somewhere and the Americans zoom down there ish let's jump into the plane so you can see the the resolution here is not great because we're we're in places where where a little People fly normal, I guess. Oops, we are off course. I just gonna, yeah, I can go uh, towards the sun maybe and and come around. No, I wanna see actually the, cause the there's a few buildings on this big island, and it's actually they enter the island over there. So I'm gonna go and come around, and when we get to the end, I guess we can go to. Google Maps or something and actually look at the real satellite images and see what happens. But it's cool that they at least picked up some of the buildings here in the game.
Yeah, if I had a jet engine plane, I would probably already be sipping margaritas in the airport on the other side. So I, I tried to fly in here with a 747 and that was really hard to operate around these islands on low altitude. So I decided to take a bit smaller plane um, because, yeah, I didn't know how to operate one of these big guys. It was really hard to fly the jet plane and yeah, you were dead instantly, almost. I look out here to the sides. There's, there's crap on the window. Someone needs to clean this window on this Piper. Just gonna push it to the limit here. I'm almost. I don't. I don't think uh, that it's built to to be on 2,500 RPM, but. We'll see. gonna take us down here a bit so we um, yeah so I just want to take a look here at the buildings and then jump over to actually to Google Maps or something to actually look at the real island and see what might be there and a bit of like what's not in the game or in the simulator Reset position. Ooh. Okay. So we have the buildings down there, and this is kind of where it is on the map. So apparently, that's is, this is where they, I guess, the military personnel. If they are on this island at the moment, they would enter there, I guess. So let's actually now take an active pause here and go down and see with the drone camera what's going on here. And she take the drone speed. Ah, that is funny. So let's jump over to this guy. Mm, okay, uh, now let's take a look here. Uh, where are we? So yeah, uh, it's these buildings. And apparently they are doing something here. It looks like a helicopter place there they have some kind of trails going up I'm not sure what they're doing here are they shooting 
towards America. Maybe they are spying there. And that's my dogs barking in the background. Um, okay, so we want to go over here next and take a look at this place. So this is the small diameter. And let's go there. Bye bye, big diameter. I'm coming back another time when you have updated uh, the Arctic regions. And maybe. Because now I'm defecting to America officially. I'm soon here almost into American airspace. I guess we're gonna get uh, a lady bugging us soon to acknowledge I think Anchorage is the yeah. okay Anchorage I'm fine yes acknowledge handoff now yeah yeah I'm fine I want to go to uh, and say hello to my friends at small diameter and say hello especially to the teacher it's a brave job to be a teacher over there on that island so yeah I want to just say hello to him or her and the students you're awesome you're awesome it's like learning out here it's it's uh, yeah So yeah, I mean, you can look at Russia there, America in this direction. Like it's, you can essentially wave at each other here and it's so close. Just gonna reset the view and then go in here for a uh, close encounter here with uh, American soil. So now if we got this far, I guess we will be safe. We're in uh, American territory and we can, uh, yeah, play some country music. I was gonna go in here and look at this place more in depth there. Just give me a second and uh, pause this and take my drone camera. And here we go. So I think they land in the real world. This is an helicopter pad. I believe the school, I'm not sure which one, there's a school somewhere here. Like here somewhere on the map at least. But yeah, there's not so much more about, I guess you, if you want to, you can build a landing strip here uh, but yeah there's a lot of birds I would guess let's uh, go up here and see how it looks so this is the official ice curtain this is where everyone heard about the iron curtain but this is the ice curtain so yeah and someone swam from that place over to that island back in the, the 80s I believe okay let's oh, head over to solid ground and land this plane somewhere hopefully Bye bye, di small diameter. I might revisit you if they update the the regions in the Arctic someday. I heavily doubt that that will be the case. Not there, are probably other places where it makes more sense to give some attention. 
So yeah, no, now uh, just essentially straight ahead is Alaska now, should be. I think we can see it there behind the clouds in the distance, that's Alaska. And there's an air strip that I plan to land on, so let's take this and recenter. So yeah, this is the airstrip I'm aiming for, it's straight ahead. beautiful uh, sunny day with some clouds and it would probably be I think there is actually a small thing sticking up there from from the ocean it's like a rock or something that with birds on it I saw it uh, when I was browsing around in the satellite images it's just a tiny thing sticking up there's no one there living Yeah, so if we were uh, Russian flyers, we would probably, s you know, talking like this. Yeah, uh, this is okay. Th that's bad. Let's. This is the captain speaking, and uh, we are now on in American airspace. And uh, hold on to your horses because we are coming in hot. We are coming in hot. Uh, or something like that. So yeah, um, I'm gonna take us down a bit here i'm gonna avoid the clouds because yeah let's see or oh, let's let's go through them and see if we get some ice i was out flying here in the northern regions oops my air rpm meter was blinking there i don't think maybe the engine would have cut out if i would press pushed it too hard there, so I need to just go a little easy. I'm just gonna trim it up here. Yeah, there's no de-icing on this guy, so I was up very f high up and going through a few clouds and all of a sudden there was ice all over the windows and I essentially didn't see anything. So I had to fly by these instruments instead and hopefully, uh, yeah, until I got down on lower altitudes. So. so yeah, it's good that it at least have these instruments so I could see uh, that at least that I was on the right heading. That's why I'm not taking this guy up too far up now. We can uh, actually just climb a bit and see what we see from a bit from above. Let's go up a, a bit above the clouds. Seem to be very low clouds today. Yeah, it will be re very cool to fly this with the uh, ultra settings, but yeah, my machine would not like that at the moment. I have a really good machine for rendering and stuff for VFX, but the graphics card is a really old card at the moment because I, I built a new machine, but I was holding off to buy this new NVIDIA card. But yeah. It's impossible to get everyone, the, the bots bought the lot, I guess. Look at that, it's beautiful. Wow. 
we can see here the land so that's Alaska let's go really far up we can see that blinking there that's me so I'm now towards going up really really high but yeah So there is a, a few airstrips in this area, not of them, not all of them are actually in the game because when I was looking around I can see a lot of airstrips here and there scattered here in, in this northern Alaska. Uh, but a few of them is actually in the game or in the simulator. We can actually see now actually here how the earth is starting to come round in the corner, so that's kind of cool. So we, we're pretty far up now. yeah you can see that the resolution of the topology here in up in Alaska is not the best so maybe someday they get an overhaul of the topology data and resolution because there's a lot of beautiful scenery that would be really cool to fly around in if it was a bit more high res uh, I will come down there let's go back Oops, and I'm flying like um, I'm not sure what. Uh, I'm totally out of, <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay, I need to go around here. Okay, that's fine. And I should probably get myself down on the ground as well. I didn't set an autopilot pilot because I'm so too new to this game, and I had some issues with autopilot. Sometimes it works, sometimes it just goes totally bonkers, and I guess I need to figure out how to set it properly. Let's, um, let's kind of turn around here. And go towards the... I want to go there. And I will start to descend here as well. Because I don't want to have too much altitude when I go in for landing. Yeah, so I guess the airstrip, let me see here if I zoom in. I believe that is where we want to land. Soon we can uh, start sipping margaritas and uh, play uh, some uh, country music. Celebrate how we defected from 
Russia to America using the ice curtain and uh, while doing that also saying hello to our friends at Small Diomede that's all the people I must say I would never be able to live there it would be uh, really hard I believe but I, w I would really like to go there to see uh, like for a few weeks or like a month or so and just hang out uh, imagine uh, sitting there reading a book or drinking a uh, good coffee looking at the, the changing weather will be uh, I think uh, an experience that's you know it's not everyone has been in such a remote place so yeah it will be fun but yeah I'm too comfortable I wouldn't uh, survive there <laughs> to be honest Okay, I wanna start to come down here to maybe 1500 feet and uh, Nala or Leopold is barking in the background so yeah they're having fun I wonder what direction the landing strip is. I guess I have to maybe do a flyby and see. And hopefully I can land because yeah, I'm very new to this game and I never flown a plane, so it's I've practiced a few times so if I die in the end yeah, that's how it is. I think it's like straight ahead there. Power descent to around 1500 feet or something like that. Yeah, you can see the airport down there. I'm heading towards it. That little dot there, that's, that's me. So let's see, I cannot cheat here. Okay, it's if I take, if I do, do that, I might come in an angle that is actually working. That's something I guess you can't do in real life. Just uh, jump up instantly into space to look down, but. I guess that's what satellite images are for. I 
can see the landing strip there, I guess. So. I'm not sure what direction I would land on in real life. I'm not the pilot, so I'm pr probably doing everything wrong at the moment, but yeah, it's fun anyway to just to explore places. And I wanted to explore something that's essentially not the best, in the best state, I was saying in the game. I, I don't think any of these really remote places have that much detail, but I just wanted to see. And also look at a something like that has this kind of interesting history with this, these two islands that essentially was, uh, you know, like... Uh, Iron Curtain, so to speak. And there we have it. Okay. So essentially I could... be cool to have a VR headset with this. Uh, hopefully that will come someday and uh, I get a, a better piece of um, graphics card. I need to lose speed here now. can actually land this sucker. I'm just gonna... Might do a flyover. I need my flaps. take this again I will probably do a turn I'm gonna overshoot this now because I want to lose some speed but I need my flaps down and that's a full flap I'm just gonna do uh, go with a runway and then do a turn and come back and then do it, then do it. Look at the small buildings there. I have to investigate this place more as well. Say hello to Alaska. Okay, I'm gonna now actually do a turn back here and come in for landing.
Yeah, better safe than sorry. Flying towards Hawaii or something. It's gonna take a long time to get there, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna now head back again and go in for landing. Hopefully, if I don't die and burn and all of that gas. This is the captain coming in for landing and uh, all the safety belts on five minutes to touch down. Thank you. Sighting here. coming into low but uh, yeah we'll see it's gonna go straight here until I seconds oops I'm going too fast doesn't like that that white border essentially the safe limit for flaps This is gonna be a nasty landing. Oh my god! Will I survive? Will I survive? Yeah. It's immense. The this. Oh my god! Yeah, this is gonna be nasty. Coming sideways. <laughs> I died. <laughs> okay, that's uh, how you shouldn't do it, but yeah, I was fun. <laughs> I died in the end. Oh well, you can't have it all. Yeah, that's it. You have to see what happens and just roll with the dice.